Okay, guys, quick update with Bitcoin. I want to make sure you have your key support and levels to pay attention to. Uh, Bitcoin pushed up. We almost hit the moon, so now we find out if it's down from here, if we get one more leg up. Uh, one thing to point out is we got a cross on the RSI on the daily, so I'm going to cover that as well. If you want to get into leverage trading, guys, I use BitGet, love the platform. If you want to sign up, my link is pinned in the first comment description. If you're located in the U.S. looking for a good exchange to trade using leverage, BingX and CoinCatch is a great option. Those links are also pinned in the first comment description as well. This is a tutorial video I put up uh, teaching you how to trade on BitGet. Uh, if you want to watch this video, I'll put a link up to it now. It shows you how to do trigger orders, set up long, short, stop loss, just stop loss, all of that. So let's recap really quick, guys. If you watched the last video, I will put a link up to this video now if you want to check it out. I told you that I was in a short, and if uh, 36,281 became resistance, uh, or we broke that point, I would, again, I was in a short with a long hedge, and I said I would close my long hedge if we broke below this point. As you can see, closed captions are on right now. 36,000, let's say 36,281 becomes resistance, I would go short. So that's what I did once we broke below this point. I closed my long hedge and wrote my short. Uh, and you can see this is the point I was talking about. Once this previous support became resistance, it was like we'd have some downside. Take note that we found support on this very same ring. I'll show you this in the, the larger time frame. It was resistance, it was support, it was support, and it could be support again. And I'll cover this. This is your most key support level right now on this chart. Uh, so again, I closed my long heads, we dropped. Uh, I was talking about the H1 chart in that very same video. Your next strongest support level is 35,872. We actually broke below that to this next support level here. Uh, you can see that on the H1 chart. Uh, so, and now I did not open my long hedge here. I, I wanted to wait and see what happened. Notice we dropped pretty low. We came up, we found support on the SPIP channel line here around 35,327. Once we pushed up, notice we got a projection here. It's very possible we could have got rejected and came back down from this point. So once we pushed above uh, this blue FIB channel line that I mentioned in the previous video, around 35,922, I opened my long hedge. I closed up around 38,000. Uh, we covered this in Discord, uh, top sitting somewhere around 38,000. And again, we were using the actual chart. This this was close to where the um, the book maps are showing there's a lot of liquidity and it was the top of this uh, this red line right here is a large the top of a large rising wedge that we're in so again we didn't quite hit the moon i was telling you that if we do so i just want to make sure you have these key support resistance levels to pay attention to we're coming up on our closest support level now which is around at 36,275. i'll go to the other chart which is the two hour to give you a closer um so you can see the support resistance levels close up but i would like to point out your most strongest key support level now Take note, where I was showing you that, that ring, where we found resistance, we found support, we found support on it again. So it looks right like right now, like with the next, this is daily candle, next daily candle. If we come down, if at any point we break 34,639, again, depends when you make contact. But once we break this point and this becomes resistance, I think my analysis is more likely to play out. Now, remember what I'm trying to tell you guys. We've never crossed one of these blue rings without getting a pump. So for my analysis to play out, we need to get rejected at some point. Uh, if you'll notice the RSI, we just got a cross on the daily. Now typically after that happens, we get a pump. It does not mean we have to, but it is possible. We could find support around 36,275. Push right back up, take out the liquidity above, for um, take out the shorts above. So do pay attention to that as a possibility. But if we break 36,275, Again, that's a very key support level, and that becomes resistance. We have some more downside, but the strongest, your strongest resistance, uh, strongest support level to pay attention to right now is around 34,717. So again, let me cover uh, these support resistance levels. And by the way, guys, if you do want to get access to uh, Discord and access to these live charts, the website is altercrypto.com. Uh, if you want to pay with USDT, you can, but you need to email me through the website. Just click on contact to get my email address. Uh, the H1 chart. So again. Uh, you can see that this this line right here where I opened my uh, long head. So this is your next strongest support to pay attention to on the H1 chart is around 36,032. If that breaks, your next support level is around 35,464. If that breaks, all right, and we start heading lower, then we're heading to that target I gave you on the um, Bitstamp uh, 3.0 chart. So your current resistance, uh, this right here is cur your current resistance right now. This is around 36,842. If we push up, this is going to be very strong resistance around 37,530. I do have a long hedge uh, above this point, triggered, uh, uh, set up a trigger long hedge just in case to play it safe. So if you push above that point, it would trigger a long hedge and then it would close when we drop back below it. But again, I'm just riding my short right now. Uh, because we hit the top of that wedge twice now. But just want to make sure you have these key support and resistance levels. Uh, again, this H1 chart. 
and uh, this this is the uh, two hour on the, the Bitstamp 3.0. So again, like I said, the closest support level is 36,321 down to 36,262. If that becomes resistance, when you break below it, your next support level to pay attention to to catch the balance is 35,847. And again, as I said, this is your strongest support level right now. Notice this ring. It was resistance, support, support. So you've got a hell of a lot of support here to do to, uh, to a scalp long from 34,641. 34, but as I said, if that breaks and this becomes resistance, then it's very likely what I've been saying for quite a while now, while now is going to play out. That we're going to be going down lower and lower and lower. At some point, we will make contact with this ring. It will hold a support. This happened the last two times. We hit this ring. We caught a bounce. Then when we crossed it, we had a major dump. But again, just want to make you, make you aware, we have never crossed one of these blue rings without getting a pump. And historically, every time we cross one of these orange rings, we get a major dump. I'll let cover the DXY real quick. Uh, if you'll notice, we held support around 104. If 104 breaks for the DXY, we're headed to 103.35. If 104 holds, your next resistance around 105. The This is my Dow Jones chart. This is a very important, guys. Uh, now, the indices typically move together. I would just like to point out uh, this red VIP circle right here. You see this red ring right here? Last time, now we did push up after we crossed it. But notice after we crossed this red ring, things changed. The Dow just started coming down lower and lower and lower. This is the next ring. We're getting awfully close to it. If we do push up, next resistance for the Dow is around 35,664. So, but again, we could get rejected there. Hell, we could come down from here. But we're getting very close to this ring, which could trigger a large move, potentially to the downside, based on this previous ring. And again, that plays along perfectly with these rings that I'm referring to here. Let me move this moon out of the way. This blue ring has resistance. Cross this orange ring, get a major dump. So go back and watch previous videos. I did cover all that, but do pay attention. Like I said, we did get a daily cross on the RSI. That means we could hold support and get another push up. So you want to make sure you have your key resistance levels to pay attention to. But I am saying the top has to be 38,629. If we get above that, we will more than likely cross this blue ring and we will go much higher. But again, if we continue down sideways from here, I think it's more likely we'll cross this ring and get a major correction. But that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, again, if you want to sign up for Bigot, uh, link's pinned for its comment description. Remember, CoinCatch and BingX is a great option if you're looking in the US. Do check out this trading tutorial. If you want to get access to the charts, the website's authorcrypto.com. The link's pinned for its comment description. That's it, guys. Trade safe, trade smart. I'm out.